short Palm Sunday service. Palm Sunday marks the start of Holy Week, the day Jesus entered Jerusalem in triumph, riding on the back of the donkey, while crowds, who would later call for him to be killed, paid homage to him. Let's recreate that feeling of triumphal entry in our first hymn, All Glory, Lord and Honour. with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Our Confessions Let us confess our sins and ask God's forgiveness. God, we come to you trusting in your goodness. When we have put our own needs above other people's needs, have mercy on us and help us to do better. When we have chosen to ignore others who need help, have mercy on us and help us to do better. When we have risked others' health and safety through not heeding advice to stay at home in the midst of this pandemic, have mercy on us and help us to do better. When we filled our hearts with unkind thoughts towards others, have mercy on us and help us to do better. Help us to feel your love and mercy. Our Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 to 11. Jesus comes to Jerusalem as King. 
As they approached to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfil what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, see your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Here ends our reading. Some thoughts on the reading we've just heard. In our Gospel reading, we heard about Jesus' triumphant arrival in Jerusalem, the crowds in raptures throwing down their coats, tearing off branches to put on the road, and by the time Jesus had reached the city, the crowds were chanting Hosanna, literally meaning save us, but here meant as a description of Jesus as Saviour, Son of David. They were also chanting praise to God in the highest. All this when a few days later Jesus would be put to death. Where were those supportive crowds then? Rosalind Brown, in her book Fresh from the Word, discusses the friendship aspect of the Passion story. She talks about different sorts of friends. If we asked people how many friends they had, they would get vastly different answers, not just based on people's popularity, or even misconceptions of their popularity, but based on what they feel counts as a friend. Brown likens the chanting crowd to Facebook friends, the sort of friendship that indicates support but costs very little effort. Just a click to like or love something, a sad face for something less good, and there have been a lot of those on Facebook recently. And after that click, the friendship job is done. This is a sort of friendship that sends blanket messages to all my Facebook friends, thank you for... You can fill in the blank. It's no longer personal, it's more like an advert. By this point in the Passion account, there were signs of crumbling in Jesus' close friendships. Though even at the moment of Judas's betrayal of Jesus, Jesus still called Judas friend. In our final hymn, My Song is Love Unknown, we have those memorable words, But O oh my friend, my friend indeed, who at my need his life did spend. Those Facebook friends didn't support Jesus at his time of trial. Even his disciples, his closest friends, let him down at times. But despite that, Jesus still treated them as close friends. I wonder how many of us would be able to do the same. We are living in difficult times at the moment, and despite our need to socially isolate, we can still be good friends. Not friends like Brown's Facebook friends, offering support, but very little effort. Consider, if you're feeling anxious or stressed, and it is hard in this pandemic not to feel anxious and stressed, then consider how welcome would be your contact with someone who needs that friendship now, not when it's all over. If you're lucky enough to be able to manage within the constraints we currently have, then consider those who might not be doing that well and would love to have a positive and personal message or phone call. At the end of this service, I'll show the contact details for the Langors Together support group, 
with the phone number and email address. If you are in the Llangorse ward, please contact them for help. The phone number is manned 24-7. Thank you. through conflict and debate, ride on through anxious prayers and betrayal of friends, ride on to the empty tomb and your rising in triumph, ride on to raise up your church, a new body to serve you, ride on King Jesus to renew the whole earth in your image, in compassion come to help us. Amen. We say together our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from our trespasses, as we deliver those who trespass against us. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. at this difficult time. 
May the quickening power of the Holy Spirit uplift them with hope and courage and enable them to rejoice in your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.